Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. B Town 49, coming at you again with my off season free agency video. As you guys all know, I'm trying to get Alex Smith locked up. Um, we had a contract on the table three years. I don't know the numbers, but I think it was 20 mil guaranteed. Um, he doesn't like that offer. Um, he wants Ryan Fitzpatrick money, which was a six year, $40 million deal something of that nature but he wants a five-year deal me personally I don't think he's worth five years um, our front office still wants to keep the door open for Colin Kaepernick and for us to commit that long of a contract to Alex Smith would mean basically closing the door on Colin Kaepernick and we did trade up in the second round to get Colin Kaepernick so for us to do that would kind of be stupid and say what you will, um, I don't think he's worth five years. I Me mean, personally, I know you talk about the Jets, what they did with Mark Sanchez a couple of days ago. They gave him a three year extension on top of the two years he already had, which brings us up to five years. Listen, if the Jets and the Bills want to be stupid and blow their money on unproven quarterbacks, be my guest. But that doesn't mean it has to be the 49ers. Um, those of you who follow me on Twitter know that I'm not that much of an uh, Alex Smith fan. I'm a Colin Kaepernick fan. Big time. So the sooner Kaepernick starts, the better. Um, Matt Mayoko reported a couple days ago that if we can't get Alex Smith locked up before a free agency starts, uh, Harbaugh could bring in his, his protege that he had at San Diego, Josh Johnson, could bring him in and have him and Colin Kaepernick battle it out for a starting job. Um, next, Sean Golston. We franchise him, but we're also trying to lock him up long term. Um, his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, got fired because I guess he didn't get the deal that he wanted last year, so he fired him. He had a new agent that's very familiar with the 49ers. He's gotten long-term deals with ex-49ers in the past. So that's good news. Hopefully he gets the long-term deal he wants. Um, Amar Brooks, we locked him up long-term, locked him up. Six-year deal. I think it was 40-something mil guaranteed. Um, not 40 mil guaranteed. I think it's 17 mil guaranteed, but the contract is 40 mil over six years. So, yeah. Um, CJ Spillman. Special teams ace, we got him a three-year deal, so he'll be back. Hopefully, we can get Blake Costanzo back, too, because he was a really big contributor to the special teams unit, Tony Montana squad, as everybody likes to call him. So, yeah, hopefully, we can see him back in the red and gold next year. Um, Josh Morgan, I'm trying to get him locked up as well. Um, there's been news that the Jacksonville Jaguars are interested in Josh Morgan as if he was to hit the free agent market, Jackson will be interested in him. I've heard today on my Twitter that we're trying to get Josh Morgan locked up. So hopefully that goes down before Tuesday or else he will hit the free agent market. Um, and that's pretty much. Oh, yeah. Carlos Rogers. Um, the deal with Carlos Rogers he wants top five cornerback money, and at his age, I don't think he's worth that much. He wants top cornerback money at around four or five years, and he's 30 years old. So for a player his age to command that much money, I don't think it's going to happen. We might just let him go ahead and test the free agent market to see where his value lies. And he could be the same case as um, Deshaun Golston was last year when he tried to test the market to see where his value was and it turns out he didn't get the money that he wanted ended up coming back to San Francisco so that might be the same case with Carlos Rogers um, next is free agency this man the guy that I want us to get very badly I mean we have to have this kid I'm pretty sure all you guys know that you know follow me on Twitter and who, who I'm about to talk about Mike Wallace we have to get this kid a lot of people say, you know, but we're going to have to give up our 30th pick. So what? It's worth it. 
we're not going to get anybody with the 30th pick that's as talented as Mike Wallace. So I say we pre-package that pick and ship it to Pittsburgh for Mike Wallace. It's a done deal. It's a no-brainer. We have to have Mike Wallace. He will be a great compliment to Michael Crabtree. Um, Crabtree is more of a possession receiver. So we moved him to the number two spot. Like I said in my past video, I don't think he's a number one. He's more of a number two. Um, for him, it would be easier for him to get open against the opposing team's number two corner. Um, Pitt, Mike Wallace, and as the number one. And he's not only a deep threat. He can do over-the-middle stuff. He can do short bubble screens, comeback routes, fade routes. He can do anything. And we can also use him, utilize his speed on the um, fly sweep, a play that Jim Harbaugh likes to use with Ted Ginn. We can utilize Mike Wallace's speed. Other targets we could target in free agency is Marcus Colston. Um, like him, but he really wouldn't fully need. He's more possession receiver. And we already have one in Michael Crabtree. He's a red zone target. Um, we could use a red zone target too, but we have Vernon Davis and uh, Delaney Walker. We need to utilize him, them two, in the red zone as well. As well as, you know, get Bruce Miller involved in the run game. I saw him catch a lot of passes out of the backfield, but I would like to see us use him more as a traditional fullback. Get him in on first and goal and just, you know, plug him into the end zone. So, yeah, another free agent we could look at is Vincent Jackson. But the only thing that I question about Vincent Jackson is his age. He's 29. He'll be 30 next year. And he's going to be one of the more sought-after free agent wide receivers on the market. So he's going to cost a pretty penny. Second tier of wide receivers we could look at is Pierre Garçon. It's questionable. Comes from a Peyton Manning offense. Um, he has been known to drop some balls. Um, we could like, look at Robert Meacham, another New Orleans Saint. Earlier I mentioned Marcus Colston, but he's had a up and down year. He's been inconsistent ever since he came out from the draft. So I don't know about Marcus Colston. Well, not Marcus Colson, but Robert Meacham. So, yeah. Another New Orleans Saint we could look at is Carl Nix. He's an offensive guard. He's a free agent, but I think he might cost a pretty penny, too, as well. Secondary, if we lose Carlos Rogers, I see us targeting Brandon Carr or Cortland Finnegan. Brandon Carr, he's a pretty physical corner. He's great against man. He likes to get in your face. Um, he's six foot. He's young. He's 25 years old. And him and Chris Culliver would create a head of a cornerback tandem, as well as him and uh, Corlin Finnegan. He's nasty. He'll get after it. He'll get in your face. When he was a Tennessee Titan, I didn't really like it, but come on, let's admit. If he was a San Francisco 49er, I would love it and wouldn't mind it at all. So, yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the free agents we should target. I'll be back talking about the draft and who should we, we should target in the draft. So, until next time. This your boy, Mr. P-Town49, and I'm out.